new headlights and brackets going in today. Take a look at the old ones there. Your standard halogen ones. Very dull. I got new brackets as well because mine were broke, causing the headlights to tilt and move around inside the grill. So I'll have my new mounts in there and new headlights, which are right here. These are some LEDs that are smoked black lenses inside, housings, and they should adapt right to the factory plug with the three prong. If yours don't have those, it does come with an adapter kit inside here that you can splice the wires to. Here we go. And I took the silver bezel rim off because I've got some black ones coming in and they're more heavy duty than these flimsy ones that these tabs usually break up, break off on. So I've taken these off and I slid this in here. It's got the three spots in the back here where the bolts two, three down there where they come through. So I'm gonna get this in here and set it to where I can tell that this is not pointing left or right. I want it to be flush with the grill and maybe slightly downward towards the ground. The new brackets did not come with new nuts, so I had to use my old ones here to bolt the new headlight brackets together. Sure does work. It looks real nice and bright. Plugged right in. Now all I'm gonna do is wait for these black pieces to come in and it'll sit in there secure. But I've got these adjusters turn just right to where the light is pointing straight forward and I can come back in here and adjust it as needed once I'm out on the road and maybe I might notice it needs to be adjusted a little bit more but there you go I've got the second one seated in here and bolted in here and with the adjusters if you loosen them, it'll bring the mount out towards you. And if you tighten it, it will press it down into the grill more. So you play with that until you get your level setting. And you do have to take that bezel off no matter what to get the headlight in, even if you did reuse these. These are what go over top of the example on the other side. I got the, the ring just sitting here, not screwed in while I await the black ones. So that holds the bulb in place at the end. There we go, plug and play. Once these black bezels come in, I can fasten them in place. I'll be good to go. Last thing I'm gonna do while I wait is paint the other bezels that go inside here in the lip. These are chrome. I'm gonna paint these black. final pieces came in the mail this evening and they are a lot thicker and heavy duty compared to the stock flimsy chrome ones I mean these are very thin much thicker heavier so these are gonna go right over top of the new headlights like this with four screws and then 
this goes in like that. And these have three screws. And these also have three. These actually line up together like that. These are the covers that I've had a long time, so I'm gonna put them back on there. I reshot all this with nice clean black. These were chrome, I painted these black. So here we go. So I've got all four screws started. Really hard to get up in there. Two up top. And two on bottom. And they're all Torx T15s. So I'm just gonna go around and tighten them now. So now both headlights are in with all four bolts secured. It's really hard to reach and get down in there. So take your time, don't strip those bolts or scratch your headlights. Next up here are the bezels. And there's three screws on these, one on the bottom and two up top. This is going to slide in here. And then I'm going to secure these with these at the same time. Popped in there, set in place. Clicks right in there, or at least it should. And you're going to have your three bolt holes line up. So these on top and screw it in. First one started. Second one going in. Here's the final product, new LED headlights, and everything blacked out inside, all fastened in and secured. I love the look. I love the look. Especially with those new hood clips, blue and black, coming together, boys. Fresh LEDs.